The next few pages actually focus a lot about the customer. What we're looking to do when building our customer personas and customer profiles is to both understand everything about the typical dream customer that you would want to target for your business. So actually for most people, there will be a demographic. If not, we create one about they could be a middle-aged man who plays golf, who's a senior manager, who loves sports. He has two kids. He loves to read on weekends. He follows the internet. Uh, he supports the LA Lakers, et cetera, et cetera. He doesn't go to church. And what we look to do is build up consumer profiles about how he spends his time or she spends her time, what they do, what they think about, what they think inside their own head, what they talk about with their friends, what magazines they read, what they look at on the internet that maybe they don't tell their wife. Their buying desires, their dreams, their aspirations, their family life. Do they have kids? What do their kids do? But the idea is the more we can actually un understand about the consumer, the better we can do our job in terms of actually targeting them to both provide them with products that they like, but actually communications which might resonate with them. And it's a really big, important task that is often quite difficult to describe, but we go into quite a few pages in the book to help you do this. And actually the easiest way to do it is to just go through all of the questions that we ask about building consumer insights and actually getting to know your customer. And it should really help both to understand your product as a whole. Do you make the right thing which is suitable and that your customers want? but also in terms of how you look to do your promotion. If your uh, consumer loves to read American football magazines, but they never go on the internet or LinkedIn, it would be a mistake to do lots of paid ads on LinkedIn because your target customer doesn't even go there. Vice versa, if you want to approach business people and they spend a lot of their social media time an hour a day on LinkedIn, LinkedIn might be a great place to advertise to get in front of that person. They might have no interest in American football. So advertising in American football magazine would be a complete waste of time and money. But what we're looking to do as part of this process is that the more you understand your customer and everything about them, it will actually help us do our job better. Another really useful task when it comes to actually our communications and how we communicate with this customer is actually it's to build consumer insights. And what does this person think and feel about different products, different services, and how that affects their life? Because actually, if we can communicate in the language that our target customer uses, we will actually build a better, quicker, faster, more established relationship with them through really understanding who they are, what they do, and how they communicate and actually using that in our business and marketing communications. So I hope you enjoy the tasks that we cover in the book and on the next few pages on the website. This is really useful because the better we can understand the customer, this drives everything else that we do as a business. And again, we'll roll through to help improve sales, improve conversions, and actually just help us be more successful as a business.